how to a new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to discuss how to assign door and window tags to our doors and our windows to help us in our numbering and also to also assist us when we are building up our doors in the future. Okay, so we go to architecture and then there are several ways by which we can tag elements. Now we can come to tag and then say tag all not tag. So we go to architecture. Then we come back to tag area. We come to tag all not tag. So when we do it this way, then this is the easiest way. Okay, we're going to click door tag. Then we say apply. Then all the dogs are tagged. Okay. Also, in doing that for our window tags, we can also do the same. Click on the tag area. I say tag all not tag. We scroll down, move our door tags, and then apply. You can see that all our windows too are tagged. But now let's look at something. Our windows have a different kind of labeling from that of the door. The door is numbered according to the number. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, based on what was placed first. And then for the windows, the labeling is different. So the same way, when I come to this window and I edit the tag, and I say window one, all the windows with number 26 will change to that name window one. The same way, when we come to 25, and I edit and I say with the two. All the windows with number 25 will change. We come to window 3. Do this for window 3. Window 3. We have some life in here. Now, let's do this one. Window 4. Last one with the five. Okay. Now there's a reason why the window and the door was behaving in a different way. Let's try in editing the door to a C with door one. And I tell you, okay, this in this one we only have one door. When we come to door two for the kitchen, which is similar to that of the bedroom, let's say door two. Let's see that only the kitchen was changed and the rest didn't change. This is the reason. We have what we call mark and then tag mark. And so if you double click on the door tag, it takes you into the family editor. Double click it, it takes you to the family editor. But the alternative way would also be this. Like you click on it and then you come to edit family. It's the same way takes you back into this window. Now, at this point, we can change this capsule-like shape of our tag circle. We can use circle, we can use square. You can draw anything you want. But our interest now is only to change the label. Okay? We have label and text. The difference between a label and a text is that a text is just an ordinary text that is being placed. It has no intelligence attached to it. But when you pick a label, you can assign a parametric intelligence to that label. Okay, so what we have here is a label, it's not a text. So you can see that when we click it, we have this edit label showing up. So we click on edit label, then we can see that the name of the intelligence attached to it is Mac. That is what we see here. It's Mac. So we have to pull that one out by by clicking on the remove parameter from label. So we click it and it's gone. Now we scroll down and we choose type mark. Then this type mark is assigned to dots of the same type, of the same specification, of the same detail. It's called a type. We've learned this from the earlier lessons. Okay, so we pick type mark. Then you push that in, as we have here. Then you apply, or you say, okay. And that's all. If you should load this into the project, so we overwrite the existing version. And now, we have assigned the type mark intelligence to it. So we come here, there is six less than door one. That's the only door in it. So we are not going to see the effects, but you see that this is 35, 35, and 35. It tells you that if you edit one, the rest will pick up the same name. So I type door two. Beautiful. We have it. So we come to door three. Very well. So now we have assigned our labels. Let's 
let's assume you want to change this shape into a circle. We move to edit family. When you come to create at this point, and you pick line. Okay, so we pick line. Thank you. We'll end it here. We'll continue on with the next lesson.